And welcome back to the Fun Astrology Podcast for Monday, September 16th. Thomas Miller back with you. Sorry I'm late delivering this episode. I apologize. My sleep schedule is all off. My circadian rhythm is all beating to a different drum because I'm doing all these astrology readings that you guys have been ordering. Thank you for that. If you would like to take a look at what's going on for you in this Saturn-Pluto scenario, we're doing these soul readings specials that have been really hot. People are jumping on that. So get in the queue. $79 for the month of September. I'm going to continue the special in October, but I'm, I am going to raise the price a little bit. So if you want the best price, check it out, funastrology.com. The big deal this week happens on Wednesday morning. That is when Saturn goes direct. So Saturn has been in retrograde for the whole summer. So really the focus here is Saturn. I'm going to keep this one short because I was late. And then we'll catch up on this on Tuesday and Wednesday's episodes as we get ready for Saturn to launch direct. Because that is really going to be kind of the kickoff of this uh, countdown to the conjunction, basically. And here's the deal. This is the main point. Looking ahead at this Saturn situation, because we have one week of Libra left. One, I'm sorry, blah, 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 one week of Virgo left, and then Libra kicks in next Monday. So what's going to happen is as all the personal planets that we've been keeping our eye on really since the summer, but they've been in Virgo together. We're talking about Mars, the Sun, Virgo, and Mercury. Okay, that's your fiery Mars energy, your warrior, your aggression, your anger, <laughs> your frustration, all of that is, let's say, pulling up the rear. Next is the sun. Next is Venus. Next is Mercury. Now, because Mercury moves the fastest, Mercury is going to start pulling away from those other three. But this little tribe has been moving together since early since early summer, late spring. I'm going to say Gemini was the reference I was going to use. They've really been moving together, and we've been following them all the way through. As they go into Libra, and then you've got to picture this on a pie, at 90 degrees, so just 90 degree square aspect is sitting the big three, Saturn, the South Node, and Pluto. And they are going to square off to all of the personal planets. Ah, this is going to be, wow. I can't believe I started this podcast doing following this every day at this time when this is happening. So we've had them in square with Jupiter, and now basically we're going to hand that off to Saturn. Oh, it's like, really? But that's what is there. So that energy is going to be shall we say, interesting. The other thing that happened over the weekend is we lost one of the legs of that mystic rectangle. We had that beautiful rectangle, and I, oh, I hope you did some releasing work around the full moon when it was in Pisces. That was just a magical time, and we had that, that rectangle to our benefit. Uh, I had one of uh, the listeners who I was communicating with over the weekend uh, did something, purchased an item that she's going to use in spiritual work and she did it on Friday the 13th, and she was talking about, you know, there's just nothing. Friday the 13th was the best day. And we got to talking about that full moon that happened at 1130 Central Time that night. Yes, she caught the last bit of that waxing moon. Perfect timing for that. Are you kidding? To buy a tool that she's going to use in spiritual work? To buy it on Friday the 13th when... The moon was in Pisces, conjunct Neptune. Yeah, baby, that was perfect. So I hope you were able to cash in on some of that. But the big thing this week is Saturn turning direct. We do have the moon today is squared off to the big three. So Saturn, south node, Pluto, square to the moon. So that could throw um, a little... Im so in other words, where you kind of over the weekend were wanting to do your work, today you might not want to. That moon is in Aries, so it's frisky, spicy, caustic, uh, aggressive, and it's going, bah, 
I don't want to do the work. Just save it for another day. Fortunately, the moon moves quickly. So if you're feeling a little resistance around the work or you're feeling exhausted, just tired, tired of it, that's the moon. This shall pass. Don't lock on to that permanently. All right? We'll see you tomorrow. We'll set the stage for the Saturn Direct on Wednesday.